Hi, my name is Dan Kling with the Link Electric Weld School. Today we're at Beaumont Scout Reservation in Rock Creek, Ohio. Today we're going to show you how to earn the Welding Merit Badge utilizing flux cord self-shielded welding with the SP140T, the Magnum Pro 100 gun, and we're going to be utilizing the NR211MP electrode. Uh, flux cord self-shielded welding basically is a stick electrode turned inside out on a continuous coil meaning that there's no external gas required. It gets its shielding gas from, from the, the slag covering the molten metal from the atmosphere and allows us to weld outdoors and over dirtier material than you typically would with, with GMAW. Before we start welding, we want to make sure we have the proper welding gear for safety. We're going to start off, we've got a Viking auto darkening helmet. I've got a, a cotton beanie, clear safety glasses, a cotton jacket with leather sleeves, and as I've also got my uh, stick welding and flux cord welding gloves. And also make sure you got long jeans on that aren't tucked into your boots. The other thing we want to make sure is that we're not welding in a damp area. So if you need to put something down, that's fine. And probably the most important is we want to make sure that you keep your head out of the plume for welding and make sure you got the proper ventilation. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate how to set up the SP140T for flux cord self shielded welding. We're going to open up the door and we're going to install our coil of wire, our NR211 035. Once we install the coil, we then put on the plastic spacer followed by the wing nut just slightly with a little bit of tension. We're going to then straighten out approximately six inches of the wire. We're going to feed it into the ingoing guide over top of our 030. 45 neural drive roll into our outgoing guide tube and into the liner into the gun. At that point we can then close our drive system. We'll set our tension with a little bit of tension on it just enough to where if we try to block the end of the wire it'll, it'll, it'll uh, spin a little bit. Next we want to make sure that we have the correct polarity of the welding machine. For flux cord cell shielded welding we want to be on DC electrode negative. So the short lead coming from the drive motor will go to the negative stud. The work lead will be attached to the positive stud. Once we have the machine set up and we have the wire fed out through the contact tip, we then take our material and we use the gauge here underneath the door to determine our thickness. This is showing that we have 10 gauge material. We then look at our 035 211MP 10 gauge and it's showing us to use one and a half on the wire feed speed and D on a voltage setting. Okay, so now we'll take that setting, the one and a half on the wire feed speed, dial that in and then we'll take our voltage tap and put it on D. It's very important to get the correct wire feed speed and voltage for the material you're welding. If you have too much wire feed and not enough voltage, you'll get a stubbing at the wire. If you don't have enough wire and too much voltage, it'll want to burn back up towards your contact tip. We want to make sure we've got the correct contact tip, the 035 contact tip, and the flux cord self-shielded nozzle. This is going to protect the gas diffuser and the threads while using flux cord. Once you go to GMAW, you then can remove this and put on your gas nozzle for MIG welding. The last part of the setup is our work clamp. We want to make sure our work clamp is set up as close to possible to where you're welding and make sure that it's got a nice clean setting. You don't want to be putting it over top of any paint or any type of rust. Make sure you got a smooth and, and, and ground surface there. Now that we've got our welding machine set up and ready to weld with flux cord self-shielded wire, we want to go over some things for technique. The rule of thumb is slag you drag. So what that means is if you're right-handed, you're going to go from left to right. With flux cord self-shielded, we will have a slag. The slag comes from the inside flux, and what it's going to do is it's going to clean the weld puddle. The slag is lighter than the molten puddle, and it's going to bring up the impurities and bring them up to the top of the weld so that we have a quality weld. One of the first projects for our welding merit badge is going to be welding your initials. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by taking a soapstone and we're going to write our initials on this 
a quarter inch plate. So we'll write D K. Once we wrote our initials on our plate, we'll go ahead, turn on the welding machine. We've already determined our wire feed speed and voltage. We're now ready to weld. So we'll put down our helmet. You want to make sure you break the wire before you start your next weld. Okay, so we finished welding our initials with the flux cord self-shielded. So you'll notice now I've cleaned the slag off and I've cleaned the spatter off. One thing you'll notice while I was welding is I would break the, the, the electrode between welds. That's important with flux cord self-shielded because you get a little bit of buildup of flux on the end of that tip and it won't allow the arc to strike. So be sure to break off a little bit of the electrode in between your welds. The next project that we're going to do for our welding merit badge is we're going to build a pad utilizing the flux cord self-shielded process. So we're going to use a quarter inch, basically three by three by quarter inch plate. We're going to use the same technique by dragging. We're going to break our electrode and we're going to start by making one weld along the edge and then repeat that overlapping approximately halfway which eat with each additional weld, being sure to clean in between each pass. There's one pass, we'll take our chipping hammer, clean the slag off. Brush. Okay, so we've made one pass on there and we've cleaned it. We'll now continue to fill the rest of the pad with weld beads till we complete the whole three by three pad. We finished welding our pad using flux cord self-shielded. Once we finished welding it, we went ahead and cleaned it up took the slag off and chipped any spatter that would come off and then cleaned it up uh, and, and cleared it so that it'll last and it won't rust. Now our next step in earning our merit badge for welding is going to be welding a uh, square groove butt weld. We're going to take our two, two plates, lay them on the table. We've got two, again we're getting it, we have two square edges. We're going to place them, uh, in this case, tight together. Depending on the thickness, sometimes you may have to put a gap in there, but for this particular thickness, we're okay. We're going to go ahead and tack the plates together. Once we've got the plates tacked, we're going to then run a weld down one side. We're going to flip it over and weld on the other side as well.
Okay, once we weld it one side, we'll flip it over. Okay, once we've welded both sides, we'll tip the slag off, wire brush it, and we can move on to our next project. There's five major types of joints, uh, butt, lap, corner, T, and edge. We've already done the uh, butt joint, we're now gonna move to a T joint. T joint, we're gonna lay the one plate down, and then we've got another plate coming in at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna first break our wire and we're gonna tack these two plates in two spots. We'll do one tack here. Another tack. And now we're ready to weld. So again, we're gonna slag, we drag. Okay, we finished our T-joint with the flux cord cell shielded. We'll then go ahead and clean the slag off. Tipping hammer. And now we're ready to move on to the next project. The last project for our welding merit badge is going to be welding a lap joint with the flux cord self-shielded. So now we're going to take two plates. And tack them together, resembling a, a lap joint. Again, be sure to break the wire before we start. We're going to tack the two plates. Once we have the two plates tacked, we'll make our weld. And we'll clean our weld off. Wire brush it. Okay, we finished up our last project for the Merit Welding Badge. And we just finished our lap weld. So that concludes all the different projects. We started off with, with welding our initials on a quarter inch 3x3 three three plate. We built our pad. We welded our butt joint, our T joint, and now our lap joint. So if you enjoyed welding on this project, there's a lot of different careers available in welding. To find out more about those, you can go to linkelectric.com or to find out more about the Boy Scouts, you can go to scouting.org.